So I'm going to show you guys how to take line, uh, or put line on your bait casting. So as you can see, I just took line out. I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut the knot. Now what I do is, I, like, five overhand knots. I don't really count because it stays on there just if you start wrapping it around. But it usually isn't hard. So now I took it off. And what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to go up to the top of the first eyelet. about there. I'm going to go up and I'm going to cut the line right here. So now we have two lines. We have the line that just came off the spool and we have the line that's after the spool which now I'm pulling off so I can get everything that I had onto here. So what I was using at the time was a one ounce weight with a so what, how you get these split shots or like snap swivels off is you cut them right at the knot so see how there's nothing on there so now I'm going to put that to the side and I'll take this line and put it with the line that I'm going to throw out now I'm going to take my new line can you see that? It's 20 pound Berkeley trialing bean game. 650 yards. I'm going to put new line on. So what I'm going to do is go back at my wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my line and this line is going to go in the crack. And I'm going to stick it through this hole here. And if you can see that, it's stuck through the hole. And I'm gonna twist one time. And when you come back to that, you un, you wrap it around twice. Well, hang on, cause, well, you wrap it around once. So basically, you stick it in there. It usually hits something. Wind it one time. Pull the line out of the hole and tie a knot. If you can see it here, I'm tying a knot. I'm tying a five overhand knot. So let me go ahead and do that. Or hang on. So before that, so I don't screw up, you go over there and you pass it through putting the line. And I put it through the first. Yeah? What do you mean? I'm sorry about that, but my dad had to get something. And so now, put it through your first eyelet. Where is the eyelet? So we're going to take it here. We're going to put it through the first eyelet. Now, excuse me if you can hear the wind. I'm sorry. So, you're going to pass it through the leading eyelet through there, and so now it's inside of it. I'm going to pull the line up here, and same thing as it goes before, stick the line in. Wrap it around one time until you see it. Pull the loop out, give yourself some slack. And tie a couple overhand knots. I usually tie like five.
So that was for this fishing line is giving me chibis. Four. I'm gonna do one more here and take it out here and go there. Now I'm gonna get it out with my scissors. Oh, my scissors there. And I'm gonna want to leave about an inch or up to a centimeter. So if the fish pulls and the line's there, the knot's gonna come undone. And then you're gonna want to take your fingers and put them on the line, and you're gonna want to start winding. So. I got this much on my spool, so now I'm just going to start winding more. And you want to keep constant pressure on, and for this, you turn your drag up. And you can do this pretty fast. See now, the spool is filled, and I filled about like a maybe like a quarter to an inch, like a half off the top. So now what I do is I take this and I take the sticky tape that I that comes on the the line um, and stick it right here. And now I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull the line out accordingly to the end of my rod, and I'm gonna pull about an extra foot out. So there. there, and there. So there's some extra, and it, when I go to get my scissors, I'm gonna take the tape off so I can put it on my line. So now I'm going to cut this. I'm going to keep my hand on the line. Pick the line. Twist it back. Put the sticker looking thingy back onto the fishing line. So now it should look like this with the sticker right there. So now I'm going to back my rod up so you guys can see the whole thing. So now you're about the island I'm working on is right there. But the only bad thing about having this much line out after is you have to feed the whole line. So there, you want to wet it with your tongue and pass it through the eyelet and back up and pull. And you want to make sure that there's no twists coming around your rod because the first time I spoiled it up, well, that would have been last year because this has been long for this year, it was all twisted because before, when you tie that knot on, it's over unless you re spool your, unless you cut the line and tie uni knot. But, and I don't do any leaders for where I'm fishing. I'm not like deep sea fishing. So, yeah. I'm gonna pull. The way that this reel is taking the back down, so I'm just gonna go put the reel down. And so, like I said, you want to make sure that all the line is straight. And every few guides you want to wet your line and you want to be right in front of the guide to make sure 
the line truly comes to and you're not just thinking it does so because once you get out to the top these guys get quite small and if they get misplaced through one guide the line's going to strip the paint off your reel after a bunch of cast so once you get up to the top you're going to want to wet at every hole now I'm at the top as you can see got my line right here and I was practicing casting so like I do every day after I finish my homework, but today is Friday, so. And the knot I tie is the Portima knot, or the. So here's how to tie it. Basically, you take about a foot leader, you twist this. One, two, three, four five six I do it and you hang on so anyways the way I usually do it is like this you take the line you go one two three four five and you come through this hole right there and you put it through and it should make like an S and wet it and snug down just like so and when it gets to the end snug it down even more so the night the line is just like so and like I said leave about a centimeter so about a thumbnail and I leave it off just like so and you want to check on your line and you pull on it with your teeth and you're ready to go and like I said this uh, uh, this is a bait caster oh and what I meant on the um, my tackle haul was this was a 6 2 to 1 gear ratio it wasn't a 7 1 to 1 so yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that, so if you were looking for this, or looking for a good rod, or a good reel, as you were starting off, 7, or 6, 2 to 1, is a good reel to I've had this combo for a long time now, and like I say, always comment, rate, subscribe, and yeah. Don't forget to do that, and the more subscribers and the more comments I get, I'll keep doing videos, so bye!